Welcome all of you, the viewers of Pelo Daily Culture. My name is Maria Konjelska and this is a special edition of our show in the middle of war in Ukraine. As you know, there are horrible things happening behind our borders and this is a very serious situation which we try to understand. It's hard to talk about anything else but the war. With us is Olgierd Uziembko, Polish sinologist, but also a son of a Polish consul uh, who grew up in Moscow and lived in Kiev and also in Lviv. Um, sir, thank you very much for calling us. Very nice coming here again. And in the previous episodes, we talked a little bit about the, um, about the, uh, the Russian mentality and the fact that they are so brainwashed and so pro-Putin and so much, so I would say, surrounded by this propaganda which is in their, in their media and it's hard to, um, to, to tell them anything else. They're not even believing what's going on right now in Ukraine and that this is a, a Russia doing. But I would, I would like to talk about also um, the, the Western or the, the European point of view at Russia. Just last week, we heard this uh, statement of a German chancellor telling us that it's not a uh, Russian war, it's only a Putin's war. So only Putin is responsible for what's happening there. But um, I would say a lot of us say that's not true. The Russian society, at least partly, is responsible for this war. Maybe because just only for the fact they are not protesting massively against it. Well, everybody laughs at the Russians who are protesting. Uh, okay, not laughs. At Russians who are protesting, we hold them in deep respect. But we're laughing at Russians as a whole because more people are buying things in the sellout at IKEA than, than actually take part in the protest. Those who are taking part in the protest are the real human beings there. As to the Western politics, it's, uh, it's been like a tradition, the appeasement before the Second World War and now. And Germans apparently are still keeping on with the shameful approach to Russia. Instead of really saying strong nine, they're saying, oh, come on, it's just Putin's fault. It's not. It's hundreds of Russians where, which are now supporting, making photos with Zs, putting their children in kindergartens in the shape of Z, because the Z is the new symbol, the, the famous Russian Z guys, they call it. It's terrible. And we should take action as a whole. I don't know how to convince Germans to change their, uh, their actions, but we need to block the Russia out and to really stop any trade with them, any SWIFT, any buying. I think it is not easy. I think it will cost us a lot. But otherwise, Russians will not feel they lost anything. Until they do not feel they lost the war, nothing will change in Russia. Exactly. But also looking at the mentality of people, there are young um, teenagers crying that Instagram was blocked from them and that they cannot make money on YouTube anymore because of the Swift block. But on the other hand, they are not going out and they are not even trying to understand that something is different. But what I'm not finding excuses, but I'm not finding excuses, although I do understand they do not have any information, information enough to understand what's going on. They do think it's like, as if, I don't know, Polish people were suddenly blocked from, from Instagram because some police some took action in, in, in Katowice, for example. That's, I think, how they see the conflict, which is absolutely out of, out of touch with reality. But it is their reality. I don't know how to get through to them. The one thing is that Ukrainians were so uh, familiar to them. They had uh, a lot of family relationships with Ukrainians, with people with women, and um, uh, friendship relationships. It's not like it's happening on, in the other side of the world. They uh, they had access to, to to Ukraine. They've mostly visited many places. So why? They don't see it right now at all. They, and 
after all, the war is not happening in Moscow or at the Russian territory, but it's happening at the Ukrainian territory. So it's it at least can bring them like a thought that maybe there is some Russian influence there. I'll tell you the story that will explain to you everything. We have a lecturer in our university who comes from China, and she's in her phone all the time, and all the data she has, and all the all the articles she reads is from mainland China. She thinks Russians are right. Even the Chinese person who um, is... She is in Poland, she still doesn't look around. People that are used to take their information from one source, they do not look at the other sources. And if they are convinced, they would say that other sources are all lies and fake news. People are very hard to convince when they really believe in something. Tell us also, since you are a sinologist um, and, you, and this is your main field of, uh, uh, of interest, uh, there is, of course, this triangle in relationships between um, China, Russia, and Ukraine. Uh, what is the Chinese approach to, to this war? Well, first of all, they, they did have a very strong campaign, the social media and the TV, that was saying that Russians are right, this is just a police action, and it's, uh, it's not a war. It is changing now, but not much. And it's still very strongly support. They strongly support Russia. I have no idea what is the truth of it, but uh, I have this mad, mad theory that perhaps it was so such a nice way to check what is the reaction of the of the West, how it would uh, re, what will be the American reaction and European reaction to the conflict that they might have used their agents of influence to provoke that conflict. Well, we will go deeper into this, to this theory in the next episode. And to all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily Culture, this war is happening just behind our borders and we have this special message to you. Uh, if it is possible, uh, help the civilians, help the Ukrainians, help the refugees and show their real perspective at the war. There's a Russian aggression. Uh, in Ukraine when a lot of people are dying and the Ukrainians are right now fighting for their independence and we cannot let them down. Thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.